Well, panic stations averted. This is my gasket for the water pump. So we use a sealant instead, fluid gasket, Nissan. This comes with the seals kit and it's what you're supposed to use for that. So while I was panicking there for a little while, uh, I've got everything I need to carry on. So, got a liquid gasket, JDM as fuck. Got uh, a water pump, nice and clean. Sweet. Fuck. So, because there's no physical gasket on this, you are going to need a decent amount of this to take up any imperfections in the two faces. Same time, you don't want it getting inside the pump area. So, a decent smear on that. <coughs> Using the old digits again. Try and even that out. So, I've got my good coat on there. Now, I'm going to make sure it's not inside the housing anywhere. She's a bit of the rag that isn't covered in RTV to do that. Okay, so while this is sitting here, uh, I'm going to put a smear on the um, on the block side as well. Just clean the excess off the outside. Okay, so we'll set this face up out of the way. And get some on here. Just again, a very thin smear. Make sure we get some between the holes and where the channels go, but not too much. So when we bolt it up, it's going to uh, squeeze it out. So we don't want it uh, going in excess into those areas that I just put it there. I'm sure I don't want it there. So again, let's get it out of the areas that we don't want it. Obviously right now my number one priority isn't necessarily filming and giving you guys entertaining or informative footage. My number one priority is just to get this done now. The uh, engine is booked, tentatively booked for a tune on Friday next week. And uh, yeah, if I don't have the engine in by tomorrow, it's going to be very difficult to have it ready for that time frame. Okay, so two mating parts, that way, some bolts, some big ones and some small ones, one of the big ones going there, and any old bolt in here just to get it located, and then we'll make sure we've got the right ones in the right holes in a second, get in the hole, there we go. Manual has the locations of which bolt goes in which hole. It's three sizes, three different torque specs. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Now I've got loose bits of paper. Four different sorts of bolts. Keeping this together is going to be a nightmare. to go into any of them. Why is that in that bag then? Oh wait. This one? Maybe. There is a bracket. Goes in one of these too. Which one of these bolts has got to go through with both the bracket and the pump? Maybe even more than one of these bolts has to do that. Power steering pump. timing belt uh, adjuster and stuff in that same bag. So, 
seem to be short a lot of bolts for a bag that says water pump. Clearly, not all the bolts are in there. Which is shit because I put them all in there. This is one out of the other block. Out of that hole. Where the fuck are all my bolts? I bagged them all. Every last one. This is not even possible. Rear main seal bolts. Thermostat housing. Uh, the thing I just put outside. Oil pickup. Sensors. Yep, they're all gone. That shouldn't even be possible. Let me go over and look at my other bags. So, another problem. Uh, this water pump. It's got a hole, you can see this hole here, it doesn't line up with that hole there. You can see where the bolt was impacting. It doesn't fit. Luckily, the other water pump I have should fit because it's got a slot there. So there's obviously a difference. Maybe it's a series one to two difference. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll keep going. I'll just clean this gasket, go off and start again. Shit, what's the time for? Mates, 16 to 21. So we're just finally talking out the water pump. Uh, I've chucked a couple of ancillary items on, been too busy doing, not filming, because I have to get it all done. Uh, final talk for this is 16 to 21. And the correct sequence starts, that was the chair, starts here. goes around so I took these up a stage and then wait for the RTV to dry a certain amount now this one here I don't have a torque wrench or a uh, socket to suit a 6mm not that one. Not this one next? No. It says number seven. I thought you already did. Okay. Is that not number seven? That was twelve. What's the seven pointing to? I'm confused. Right. Well, there's eleven bolts, so it, it gets talked now and then again after. So I'm just doing that one by feel, uh, it should be 6.8 to 8.3, which is a pretty slow, pretty low number. And then, these need to go any more than this. Let's just uh, get this reset now. Is it 30? 31 to 42. 40. I just stripped it. Let's do it the other one. It seems number seems too high. Seems too high. Go with a lower number. That's 34. Let's see if that. No. That bolt is definitely no good. At least got more than the minimum torque on them. Let's go back up to 40.7. And then the 
next one is last. And now, I need to get that one out, unfortunately. So it was definitely no good. And we'll get it straight back in. Really, the bulb looks alright. I haven't had no others. I can see the thread on the back side of this. I may have to undo it all and start again. Again, again. Okay, I think the problem there is actually just the uh, paint in the. Um, Hole. Or I painted the block and I didn't block that off. So give me a minute to recombobulate and I'll come back to it. So in an attempt to clean up this thread, what I've done is I've run a bolt in through the back side. Obviously this pump's gonna have to come off again. I had to take the thermostat housing off again to uh, get it access, but what I really should have done was clean up the threads. I think it was just the paint binding. If I look at the bolt and by how this one ran through the back, I think we'll be alright. I think it just might have been a bit of shit bound up. We will find out shortly though when I go and refit all this. I do have a tap and die set somewhere, but I cannot for the life of me find it. So I've resorted to the ghetto bolt through the back. Because uh, thankfully it's not a blind hole. And should be golden. Uh, yeah, I'll fit it again and move on with my life because uh, I was having a bit of a panic attack there. Very frustrating, can't find my tap and die set, but I think that's done the job. Should really have run the tap and the taps through those holes that got paint in them before doing this, so lesson learned. Lesson I already knew, so that was really annoying. Uh, but yeah, we will see you in a minute when I've got all this refitted. So um, I've got to get one of these studs out of these spare blocks. They're not easy to get out. Uh, there isn't one in that block. So. I've got two nuts wound onto it. Trouble is, there's not a lot of thread there to get onto. And, um, yeah, I'm worried about stripping it before I get it out. Let me try a bit of heat. See how that goes. It's almost out of butane in this torch. I'm going to get one of them out too, those little ones. It's missing both of those studs. Probably something I should have looked at before trying to put it together. If I was smart, I'd put the 14 on before I put the second nut on so I could use the ring side. Oh man, there's a lot of bolts here to rack my knuckles on. It's coming. I gave this a good hour long soak with WD-40 before even attempting this. Yes, it is coming out. Lovely. It's going to be too hot to grab, isn't it? Better not grab it then. All right, I'll leave it like that. Now i got to find two tiny nuts. For that's too hot to for that one. So, one of the parts I've been waiting for for ages is a block. This is the rear oil feed. 
I've already driven down the um, restrictor that's in there. This has been in the freezer overnight, so as it's nice and cold, shrinks it, makes it easy to do that. And it's just got to be a little bit below the deck. Lovely, that's sufficient. And that's basically all of the oil control mods I'm doing. I'm not putting a breather in. So we still got the feed for the VVT and feed for the cams and no rear feed for the cams to prevent all the oil being pumped into the head as well as the baffled and extended pickup. I think that should suffice. I'm not taking this thing to heaps of revs. Uh, this is the recommended blockage. I actually recommend putting a smaller feed in but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I can't remember which one, both of them maybe. But I'm going to leave the factory feeds restrictors in there uh, and but block off the rear one. Ready to put some ARP head studs in, drop a head on it. So as you can see, I've had a busy day. We've got pretty much all the accessories that can go onto the block are on the block. Engine mounts are on, knock sensors, oil filter relocation stuff. Uh, oil feeds, oil drains, coolant feed returns, etc. etc. Next is the head. So these come with AR, uh, these are ARP 2000 series, um, it's like liquid. ARP 2000 series head studs to extend all the boosties I'm going to give it. Obviously, install as per manufacturer's instructions, which basically say screw them in finger tight or hand tight, actually. So I should have no need to actually do them up with that, but if I need to adjust the heights, maybe I will.